we're going to make pita bread today so let's get started i'm going to make it actually in my bread machine but of course you can make it by hand i like to use a bread machine because it'll do all the kneading for me uh, it has the warming cycle and that type of thing but it's a great recipe whether you use a bread machine or you do it by hand first of all let's start off with a little less than a cup of um, hot water we're going to put three cups of bread flour and you really do need the bread flour rather than regular flour you'll have a better rise out of it we're going to put one tablespoon of olive oil put that on the side and then we're going to put one and a half teaspoons of salt of course I'll put that on the other side of the container and we're going to put in one teaspoon of sugar granulated sugar and the last thing that we're going to put in is actually one teaspoon of rapid rise active dry yeast so I made a little well inside my flour and just put my yeast in the center of that. And then of course we're just going to put it in the bread machine and, and uh, put it on the uh, dough cycle. And every machine takes a little bit longer. Uh, this particular one takes an hour and 20 minutes. Now when it's ready, it's when you take it out of the machine, it's actually going to be just a large ball of dough and what I like to do is actually take the large um, dough and cut it into six pieces once you do they're going to be about this size but of course you're going to have six of them and then I just form a ball I tuck them under and I let them sit with the towel for 10 minutes after 10 minutes just like these are ready to go put a little flour on your countertop or board push out the air and then with a rolling pin you're going to start rolling them out now you don't want them to have them too thick so the best is about one quarter of an inch in thickness now because you're using uh, bread dough it's going to be uh, easier to work with this bread is very elastic and you're going to be able to pull on it just as you can see I am doing it now this recipe can extend if you do, if you want to make more than six you can do ten small ones but I prefer the large now once you start rolling it out it does tend to shrink back so keep rolling it with your roller and then keep stretching it and as you can see it's a beautiful elastic dough it's not causing me that it's breaking or any holes uh, if you do get the holes it's best to patch it up let it sit rest for about five minutes or so again and then work at it again but you can see how beautiful this dough is and how elastic uh, that it is and light very very light once you get it to the size that you want you're going to need of course a baking sheet or cookie sheet or some type of pan to put it on so you're going to bake them at 450 degrees just place it on here and basically before you put them in the oven put them on your tray like this and let them set for another 10 minutes now you can put a towel over it if you want but after 10 minutes then pop it in your oven at 450 degrees anywhere for five to six minutes I like to turn mine over within three minutes but every oven is different so start checking them after three or four minutes now once they come out of the oven they're going to look like this because I went ahead and made some and you can see how beautiful and light weight this pita bread came out again I got six out of them unless you prefer to make the smaller ones which you can get ten but you have your own homemade pita bread and I don't know if you can hear that crackle but how fresh and delicious this will be once you have it with just butter or with your meal 
try the recipe. I hope you like this one. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.